call unto me and I will answer. I'd like you to pray in one minute and cry. Say, Father, show me. Show me great and mighty things. Show me the things I need to be positioned over in this season. Show me things that I need to come into alignment with in this season. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I tell you, I sense a very strong impartation that is about to happen. But I have to give you these three keys. Activating the gift of sight. What does it take to activate this blessing? Ah. Nizambika. Nizambika. Kainegaskia. Nizambika. Nizambika, Nizambika, Kaine Haskena, Nizambika, Yaisu Kaine Haskena, in the Kabi, in the Kabi, and Sambi. Listen, there are three keys I want to hand to you now. I want to show you how to activate the seeing eye. Number one, praying in the spirit. Write it down. There is nobody who invests quality, consistent time praying in the spirit who will not receive this gift of the seeing eye. Whether you misuse it or not, is another thing but as far as seeing is concerned it is a grace that goes with praying show me a man that has committed himself to the ministry of prayer i show you a seer indeed praying in the spirit Ah, and when you begin to pray the spirit of God starts to search the mind of the father and downloads for you the things that eyes have not seen the things that ears have not heard the things that have not come into the heart of any man invest time praying and see what happens to your dreams and visions invest time praying and see what happens to your creativity and intelligence and your imagination invest time praying and see what happens to you as far as the capacity to draw insight from the world invest time praying and you will show me i will show you the prophetic activations that happen in your life hallelujah can i tell you a worship minister who only sings and does not pray when they sing you will know the difference you will know that this person is just singing. I don't care how nice the voice is. You will know this person is just ad leaping and just singing. There is a stability that your prayer life gives every other thing you do. 
a businessman who prays, the difference will be clear. A career person who prays, the difference will be clear. A man of God who studies scripture and prays, the difference will be clear. A worshiper who prays when he sings, the difference will be clear. There are many people who raise songs and you almost feel irritated. You're like, please just finish and go. Because there is no presence. There is a sound that your prayer life gives everything that you do. You cannot fake a genuine prayer life. It's not by the huskiness of your voice. Uh -uh. There is a presence. There is a stamina. There is a confidence, a stability that comes from within your spirit. For someone, God is fanning your prayer altar. Ah, you need it. You need it. You need it. It is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Yes, sir. You want to do end time ministry? Five minutes prayer? Ten minutes prayer? Save Johnny. You will reverse by yourself in shame. You want to see? You must learn to pray. Generate energy as you pray in the spirit. Yes, sir. Male and female, educated or otherwise, when it has to do with the gift of sight, Ladies and gentlemen, it is connected to a rich, consistent discipline of the prayer ministry. There are many people it's in the place of prayer that certain melodies will come in the spirit. You will start hearing sounds. You will write them. It's in the place of prayer that certain sermons that were not even rehearsed, scriptures will come to you. It is in the place of prayer that the 10 year plan of your destiny will be downloaded. Sometimes you will pray till you fall asleep. That sleep was not slumber. It was Adam's kind of sleep because something needs to come out of you. Ladies and gentlemen, laziness in the area of prayer is a cancer that would destroy many Christians. You must obtain grace by the Spirit to be a man and a woman of consistent prayer. I'm talking of moments where you invest quality time. You are not asking, not tea, not bread. You are just traveling. It's a cruise in the Spirit. And the flesh may be weak, but you are still gaining ascendance. You will hit an escape velocity in the spirit, and the heavens are open, and you will start receiving things. Something happens to your mind, something happens to your understanding of scripture. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Listen, if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, with evidence of praying in fluent tongues. Well, I'm praying you receive that impartation. But you see, one of the reasons why we designed our prayer department is an opportunity. There are people who have been trained, mighty anointed men and women who will administer the baptism. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is not for Pentecostals. It is not for charismatics. It is one of the manifestations of the hidden wisdom of God. He said, but we speak this wisdom among them that are mature. Not the wisdom of this world that comes to naught, nor of the princes of this world. He calls it the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for our glory. He said, you shall receive power, Acts 1.8. In Acts chapter 2, they receive tongues. There is a relationship between that which you utter in the spirit and the opening of your eyes and the gift of sight. Is someone learning? The generation that knows how to pray with understanding will be a seen generation indeed. Tremendous insight in ministry. Tremendous creativity by the spirit. Number two, very quickly, activating the gift of sight. What is the second key? Meditation. Meditation. Rich moments where you meditate upon the word of God and then meditate upon 
scripture based resources you can meditate upon the word of God but you can meditate upon scripture based resources like sermons like materials that are word compliant it will prime your creativity you can be reading a leadership book and see one line leadership is about transforming followers to leaders and leaders to agents of change you will stop there the psalmist will often say sila pause and think about it most people do not understand meditation meditation is not witchcraft i'm not talking about this devilish thing that people do to meditate means to think and to ponder using the power of imagination what is god saying there are times that i sit quietly with worship playing and i'm saying holy spirit breathe upon my mind what are you saying now and sometimes it will take a while before his voice comes in that silence here it comes this is what koinonia must do for the next season this is the series i want you to step into these are the anointings i'm releasing in this season when we look like we are mighty it is simply because of the advantage of the power of sight the grace to see ahead of time yeah. hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh. meditation you open your scripture you read and you begin to meditate let worship play Lord what is the next thing about my life and sometimes you need to be still then you will know that he is God there is a kind of knowledge that follows stillness be still and then you will know miracle service is next week Sunday Part of the ways that I prepare for the miracle service is not just to pray. Sometimes I'm lying down and a dense atmosphere of worship and I'm quiet. Your majesty, speak. What do you want to do in the lives of your people? What is your emphasis for the people? Don't ever assume with God it will cost you. Always stay and say, Lord, what are you saying? Speak for your servant heareth and sometimes he will open your eyes and give you insight into what he's doing that there will be people who will come for that miracle service who have been tied down by spirits and you will see it and you will say when you get there don't just do what you want to do become a voice of deliverance hallelujah you believe in this sometimes it's in the place of meditation i told you that's how the song breathe came that's how this song in fact this song i think i hope i'm right on that i think it came in the place of worship just worshiping and then this chance come in the spirit by the spirit of the living god and your life becomes a sign and a wonder first to you and then everyone around you Ladies and gentlemen, practice meditation. Sometimes, as a businessman, shut everything around you and sit down. There has to be a way out. Spirit of the living God, what is the next five years going to look like? What is the next ten years in this industry going to look like? Ah, then the one who gives you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places, he comes to you in that stillness. <laughs> He breathes upon you and reveals to you the next 10 years reveals to you the next 20 years there were many things that we had the opportunity to do as a ministry but every time I went to the Lord he would just be silent over it or he will say it's not yet time and I said that's it this is your ministry this is your vision no matter how uncommon and unusual it is if you say it is not time it is not time Someone called me one time and said, Apostle, do you have an idea of people who have been writing books in your names? 
books that have almost sold five star ratings across several platforms i said that is wrong so why don't you just quickly write and i go to him your majesty no it is not your time the foolishness of seeing will make you a champion mysteriously so you will do things that are unusual but with them will come power and transgenerational impact hallelujah praise the name of the lord this is how god has helped us as a ministry this is how god has helped many who have learned sensitivity please write it meditation meditation you can get sometimes word-based confessions sometimes you can get scriptures on tape designated scriptures are, are along certain areas and just allow them play sometimes it's worship like the strings playing like this and you're just soaking in that glory when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. Sing it one time. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, There'll be no words to say oh. Listen, my dear people, let me teach you a secret. Every time you are granted the opportunity to go and minister, don't just stand up and write songs blindly and go and stand and start singing. It's in that secret place. The Spirit of God can arrange songs, songs that you have forgotten. This song connects to this. This one connects to this. When you now have the opportunity to minister, you will come up with a, an arrangement that will so impact the spirit of the listeners. How did you join this song with this one? It came in the place of meditation. In the stillness when you stay with the spirit, destinies are altered. You will hear sounds in the spirit. God will tell you this plus this is what equals this. As a businessman, once you stay meditating, here he comes. This is the next phase of what the world is doing. Go ahead of them by doing this one and doing that one. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, the third and final way you activate the gift of sight is through impartation and that's what you're about to receive yes sir it is a grace that can be imparted Ephesians 3 9 when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. I want you to please read aloud the first six words that you see count them in your mind before you read the first six words are you ready one to read please and to make all men see one more time one more time there is a grace that can make not some men all men see all men can see depending on the grace that rests on them all men may not see visions but all men can have dreams many can have visions 
all men can have access to supernatural insight of scripture all men can have insight to creativity and intelligence at an extraordinary scale and all men can have access to prophetic activations the word of knowledge seen in the spirit extraordinary supernatural experiences this is the heritage of the saints and within the next two to five minutes as instructed by the Spirit of God I want to impart this grace I told you there is a gift that God wants to give someone to make all men see To make all men see their future to make all men see what God is saying to make all men see his program to make all men see where their wealth is just because everybody is running there you may run there and your wealth is not there to make all men see what business to do to make all men see what dimension of ministry you have been called into to make all men see where your helpers are Esther to make all men see where Ahasuerus is Naomi to make all men see where Boaz is to see where your victory is I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart I'm not wasting your time your life will change remarkably believe me remarkably can I tell you the gift of sight will also let you see where the problem is it can show you where the problem is this backwardness in this family where is it what is the root of this tragedy that has tied down men, tied down women, tied down great people? It is not only to see the future. You can see the origin of tragedies and to correct them. Who seen that this man was born blind? Himself or his father? And Jesus said neither. and those who are following online you are about to receive something miraculous and marvelous miraculous and marvelous the gift of sight the seeing eyes he said blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear Just listen. Hi, 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 glory be to God. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hi, 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 glory be to God, hi, 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 glory be to God. In the name of Jesus, upon someone's eye, the grace to see. Receive that grace now. Receive the gift of sight now. 
hear me let me start with those called into the prophetic in the name of Jesus a heavy grace from heaven let it rest upon you now take that grace now anyone here under the sound of my voice called to operate in the prophetic office I activate that grace to see now And declare the grace that brings life to your dreams and your visions from this night may that grace rest upon you now restoration of dreams restoration of prophetic dreams restoration of visions in the name of Jesus Christ Number two, I want to pray for you. Your imagination, your creativity, after the order of Bezalel, after the order of Uzziah, in the name of Jesus, extraordinary ideas, extraordinary concepts, begin to see them now. Begin to see them now. The ideas connected to your wealth, Begin to see them now. What's that song? Another measure. Sing it for me. Shalega paradadata. Another measure. Upon your life, upon your ministry, receive it in the name of Jesus. I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus what you have never seen in scripture I open your eyes to begin to see it I open the eyes of your understanding unusual insights into scripture receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the spirit to be activated the word of knowledge the word of wisdom the gift of prophecy i decree and declare anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you i stretch my hands receive a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now a 
a fresh impartation now. Adonai. 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 Every trouble you have entered because of spiritual blindness, every mistake you have made, some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight. Some of you may be in marital crisis right now. Some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now. In the name of Jesus, I invoke the mercy of God. Come out of that situation now. Come out of that situation now. A miracle service is next week. But please allow me to speak over your finances. There is something your eyes need to see. I want to pray for you. Can I tell you this? Listen. Your wealth is not everywhere. Don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon. You will get into trouble until you deplete yourself. Just because it's working for others does not mean it will work for you. You have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you. I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy wherever your financial resources will come from i gravitate you towards that area i gravitate you towards that area i gravitate you towards that area in the name of jesus christ everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry in the name of jesus i'm praying for you the eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision let it be imparted upon you I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart may nothing take you unawares again I say it again may nothing take you unawares that before it happens by the power of sight may you see it so that if you have to stop it you stop it from happening and if you have to allow it then you allow it happen hear me by the gift of sight you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you let me repeat it again you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you Let me give you a disclaimer. Many of you will go to sleep and you will wake up from this encounter with many visions. Listen, never execute anything you see until you verify it with the word. I need to give you this disclaimer. No matter how accurate what you have seen is, when you get up, do not execute until you can support that vision with scripture and where possible seek godly counsel i'm saying this to you because there are many people an impartation like this is very risky because when your eyes are open you will see all kinds of things and satan can appear as an angel of light are we together yeah the devil can appear as an angel of light and want to manipulate the sincerity of your passion to see and you may see things or God can give you correct visions and here comes Satan with wrong interpretations of it and you will carry a wrong interpretation and connect it to a correct vision and it will end up misleading you and misleading others no matter what I see 
have to confirm it with scripture. And where it is beyond my spiritual level to interpret, I will consult with those who have gone ahead of me and open up my heart and say, I've seen something like this. Sir, what do you see? What can you say about it? And sometimes they will say, don't worry. Give me a few days. Let me pray about it. Ah, this is what you saw. This is what you saw. Never be too big to be guided. No matter how accurate you are, we see in part, I forgot to tell you that, that even after you have received the grace to see, you will see in part. That means the word of God that is wholesome and complete and entire must vet your visions, must vet your dreams, must vet your creativity, must vet your prophetic experiences. That way, go and listen to my message, the value of encounters. There is the prophetic dimension of the word that immunes you and stops you from getting into error. Many people prayed their way to visions but because they did not honor scripture, they started seeing things that misled them. Some of you have seen people like that. They start acting as if they are having a mental condition. It was prayer that took them there and they did not have respect for scripture. They now start, you see them misbehaving. They start talking to themselves. They will not take their bath for days. They will start looking as if they are mad people. Eventually, they will get them on admission in the hospital. I have to tell you as a responsible man of God, that when you are open to the vistas of the spirit it is a very vast realm what gives you stability is your respect for scripture otherwise your eyes will see a lot of things the devil will manipulate you to sleep and see someone carrying the form of your mother lifting a knife and you will get up and say ah so my mother is the person behind this and satan has succeeded in cheating you he took advantage of the opening of your eyes. As an, an, an innocent woman who loved you and nurtured you, you will begin to hate her. This is the number one problem with the prophetic ministry. Their inability to save their experiences and vet it from the lens of scripture. There are many people today who are called witches and wizards. There are many sincere family members that have come at loggerheads because some apostle or some prophet said, this one is this. I believe that there is witchcraft. But there are many people, an innocent husband and a wife, and suddenly they make the wife hate her husband. I see that this guy wants to destroy you. Interpreting visions has a protocol. There's no time for that now. But you need to learn to see your visions. There are many things you will see that are not necessary. You dump them and focus on that which is consistent. Everything you see does not have to be interpreted. When you are mining gold, you will fetch sand. A lot of other things will come. Push them away. You are looking for gold. Hallelujah. I'm saying this so that you don't create another kind of error. And for someone who is watching, I have to bring this balance as we wrap up. Everything you see, no matter how sure you think you see or saw, make sure that you open up in scripture. And if it is a revelation that would demand you taking destiny steps, seek godly counsel. By the privilege of God's grace, we are here to help. Don't stand up and suddenly say, you know what? I had a vision. And in that vision, the Lord said, I should leave my job as a breadwinner of 10, the one who takes care of 10 people, before you take that step, seek godly counsel. There are people that God has washed their eyes with eyes salve. They can see and say, this is not what it means. Be careful. Do not take a wrong step and destroy your spouse and destroy your husband and destroy your children and destroy your parents. I'm saying this as we close. Because there have been people, I can tell you through the years, I've been involved with people who because of the, the depth of their prayer life, meditation, word study, their eyes became open. Some of those people will get up in the night and start trekking no shoes to the river and tell them a spirit, someone appeared. I know one gentleman, he's now late, long dead. The guy used to go through story by 4, 4 p.m. 
he would enter one building they used to use as an auditorium he would sit down there because he said there was an angel some feminine angel that used to come to him that they would sing together she takes him out in the spirit and takes him to various places around nigeria this guy started isolating himself from people he started behaving like somebody who was having a medical condition i mean what i'm saying he got into depression because he was like nobody else was his friend he claimed they used to sing together with that bean i remember interviewing the guy and i said describe for me the bean once he started doing that, i said you are you are meeting with a familiar spirit oh but she tells me good things behave yourself respect parents i said you don't know satan that gentleman today has passed on to glory years ago it is true so i'm saying this so that believers don't blindly go and start writing everything and executing them verbatim what was written was written so that it will not be changed your visions can be altered i taught you here that it is written is greater than i saw it is written is greater than i heard if you can respect the word of god then your seeing becomes profitable it is not everything i've seen that is from god it is not everything i've seen as a man of god that is worth executing when i pass them through the lens of god's word i find some of them wanting and i just hang them there until i grow higher to vet them again or until i dump them because i do not believe in them you must have the maturity to respect the word of god and no matter how accurate your insights are let them pass through the sieve of the word and then you have created a safety net for your excelling pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline i pray for you in the name of jesus every altar that sponsors hatred that sponsors trouble that sponsors limitation by the power that raised christ from the dead it is destroyed now You don't have to come out but i want to pray for you there is someone here your father has a case with efcc and if we don't pray for you with what i'm seeing they are going to jail him i don't know who that person is you don't have to come out so that you avoid any embarrassment but in the name of jesus i don't i'm not a, 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 a government worker i don't know how it works there but for god to have revealed it we declare mercy right now agree with me we declare mercy right now in the name of jesus who is sitting on what belongs to you in the name of jesus christ please receive this prayer i decree and declare anyone fighting the prophecy over your life and sitting where they should not be i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them, I overturn them. I overturn them. help them please i overturn them in the name of jesus until you sit upon that which is rightfully yours whether in the office whether in politics i say it again i overturn tonight i overturn tonight i overturn tonight in the name of jesus christ at the count of three let them go release their destinies one two three go 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 out of them now out of them now out of their lives now in the name of jesus everything that has been stolen let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration as i pray for them i pray for you everything that has been stolen 
in the name of Jesus restoration supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus the Lord is still showing me a family your father is a pastor but there is absolutely nothing that is working in that family a sincere man of God who loves God but poverty failure shame this is what has characterized his family I don't know who that person is you are a lady in the name of Jesus is there someone like that please make sure you verify let's not just have people coming out carelessly your father is a pastor I want to pray the devil is a liar just put them they can stand one place anywhere there i want to pray for them you see look at this you can imagine this kind of demonic mockery a man who is who is spending his life serving the lord and then the devil will want that nothing works in his life you see so it can discourage members it can discourage people they can say if you are a man of god why are these things not working for you but in the name of jesus you came here for this miracle service tonight i'm praying for you there are so many of you so i will use you as a point of contact every altar speaking against your family right now i stretch my hands upon all of you who are out here at the count of three that fire will fall upon you one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire i decree and declare those altars are set ablaze I release your parents I release your loved ones I release your parents I release your families help them please every altar that has stood as a resistance to the growth of your family be destroyed now I not only pray for them I'm not a banker and I will not I will not say anything that will destroy any bank but there is a particular bank we need to pray for in the name of Jesus I will not mention names but in the name of Jesus we are praying that what the devil is plotting that that bank just goes down overnight may the Lord show mercy in the name of Jesus because with what the Lord is showing me right now, I'm seeing a lot of financial distress. It's still undertone. They are just trying to walk to see how they can manage it. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying for the sake of the mercy of God and for the sake of those who fear God in that bank, both workers and customers, may God preserve it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Jessica. Jessica who is Jessica Jessica this is what I'm hearing who is Jessica where are you coming from I just did. come and stand here please where are you coming from I want to pray for you what do you do madam don't be embarrassed not nothing I want to pray for you let me pray for you where is your husband he's outside he lost his job yes when yet. 2017 and from that time he's not gotten a job again the one he got he has been managing it is nothing to write home about from the when he is he here yes because of there's no space he's of course i understand outside. it doesn't matter he doesn't have to come husband wherever you are you are seeing your wife on camera just stand by faith if we say he should come now we may waste time do you believe god can visit him yes madam what do you do i'm a businesswoman i want to pray for you i believe in miracles so i truly believe hallelujah jessica your name is not jessica oh. brother's wife. Huh? your brother's wife you're standing in okay 
please don't come out to stand in for anybody if it's not you just be patient by faith believe wherever you are don't worry i'll pray for you since you're here madam in the name of jesus please why are they here are you jessica your name the name your parents gave you okay so you can stand here so that we'll save time because we in the name of jesus i decree and declare every planting of darkness i use these ones in front as a point of contact ah i'm praying for these people but i'm seeing a lady here there is a, a ring that is demonic this is not physical on your hand but this is demonic this thing has closed everything that looks like marital doors the power of god is coming upon you right now help them help them this is what i'm seeing i just saw a ring flashing at me and the lord is saying until that is taken care of it looks like nothing can i'm praying i do, what he says to why are you coming out my dear listen to what i'm saying first okay don't worry my dear look at me just calm down you are not carrying a physical ring huh? just be patient in the name of jesus i decree and declare i'm not saying those who are looking for marital miracles that's not what i'm saying i'm sharing with you a vision understand the vision first before you come out it's not an issue of coming out it's an issue of standing where you are and the power of god touching you in the name of jesus those who are there don't worry let them not be embarrassed just leave them to come once they are already here, just just let them be let them come in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit every demonic thing any kind of satanic engagement that anyone here if there is any strange marriage aha uh -huh, that is not of god any demonic every fraternity that has tied you in the spirit help that woman in the name of jesus i call upon the lamb upon the throne we dissociate that demonic marriage now we dissociate that demonic marriage now please help them my god we dissociate that demonic marriage now strangers of the night that come to visit you while you sleep molesting you and spying upon your liberty right now i stretch my hands anyone here who is a victim of those things be delivered now and for all of the jessicas who god called out here in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that is an embargo over your life and your destiny and your family i hereby release you now i hereby release you now that mockery and that shame over your life i release you now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare for some of you between now and the end of august the way god will visit you and turn things around in your life please believe it i declare it in the name of jesus christ god bless you god bless you thank you there there is um i don't know if i should ask them to come out now but i am seeing a unique grace from this service that is coming upon people who are into construction there is a grace those who are construction building there is a grace in the name of jesus i don't know who is into that whether your business or you work with a firm there is a grace there and i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god father upon all these ones i declare may your power rest upon them right now may your power rest upon them right now that what god will do within one month will surprise you many of you will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i'm not a prophet of doom but i want us to pray i'm seeing an attack in a particular mall in the name of jesus christ we cancel it now don't misunderstand me i don't promote negative prophecies it is because we are a family of faith here there are many things that i see that i just pray on sometimes god allows us to release these things to edify the body remember dominion is not saying evil will happen and watching it happen dominion is the is god revealing what the devil is doing and then we use the authority of jesus to stop it are we together now
the joy is not negative things coming to happen there are only few things in the bible that are called written judgments that means many things many evils can be stopped there are few that are called written judgments for instance the rapture of the saints and the imminent destruction of those who are not with christ there's nothing you can do about that once a man dies outside of christ you cannot pray and say let the person repent wherever no it's not we don't see any expression of that in the bible every long-standing issue represented here may this be the season for speedy answers every spirit that is behind the tragic situations written here in the name of jesus we command that that spirit loses his hold now and every human vessel who must come into partnership with heaven for this request to be manifested in your life we compel the ministry of those men in the name of jesus christ I prophesy over your life that this is your season of laughter in the name of Jesus he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev I decree and declare every captivity here is thereby turned around if there is anything that is eating up your spiritual life are not giving you room to be vibrant spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ be restored be restored be restored be restored by the power of the Holy Spirit hear me everything that has left heaven but the devil has not allowed it to come to your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead I stand as a prophetic midwife and I push it to find manifestation in your life in the name of jesus every church here represented every business every firm every organization step into a new season of exploits you shall not go down in jesus name you shall not be in want in jesus name i decree and declare our children are blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ no one here will have a cause to bury your loved one as you drive on the road you are protected as you fly in the air you are protected as you move by sea you are protected no evil will see you in the name of jesus christ for those who are trusting god for manifestations of financial favor i release my faith and i agree with you this week beginning experience strange favor in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that this week god will put it in the hearts of your helpers to help you god will put it in the heart of your lifters to lift you in the name of jesus christ finally let me pray for you the mantle of honor that compels for influence and loyalty in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ.